What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the brand new stuff that we dropping to my health with you tomorrow. But one thing to keep in mind to remember is that tomorrow guys, the official golden ticket or the last golden ticket drop will be tomorrow at 9pm. And as we notice on the 6th, if you are not on, as soon as the servers are like um, updated, as soon as golden tickets drop, you will not be eligible to get a golden ticket because they go so fast. So make sure. To log in tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to get yourself a golden ticket and have a chance to win. Now let's head over and look at the golden tickets. So the first golden ticket we are going to be looking at is a limited card. That's going to be Jeremy Shockery. And this dude, these LTDs that they're going to drop are going to be so freaking cheap. It is ridiculous how cheap they're going to be because everyone has like a billion freaking eggs and a billion training. So these cards are going to be so cheap. going to be 400k. So they're going to be really cheap because of the market. So, well, we look at let's check out his stats. He has 95 speed, pretty good speed for a tight. Actually, not that good speed. Now that I think about it, 95 speed is very slow. So this card, it looks like a basic tight end, nothing spectacular, not being crazy. So he's not gonna be really worth it. Now, on the other hand, on Cam Chancellor, the other LTD, well, that's a different story because this Cam Chancellor is insane. 98 speed, but remember the speed boost. He is so everyone's gonna this dude's gonna have 99 speed, 99 zone. 99 hit power. That's literally all you need to know about this dude. This is probably one of the best users in the game that you're gonna get for free until Julius Peppers drops golden ticket peppers, which we have no idea when he dropped it, but we do know he's getting a golden ticket because that's who we voted for. So it's gonna be pretty crazy what we're gonna see him. And yeah, and now let's look at the next card. Now the set legend that you guys complete, if you guys do wanna do it, is gonna be a Ryan Cheese here. Has good stats, 98 speed, 97 hit power. 90, I said that backwards, 98 hit power, 97 zone, and 97 block shit. Now this dude, does he look good? He looks okay, but since the fact he is a middle linebacker, and you guys do know middle linebackers tend not to jump, so this card is basically a okay player. Nothing crazy, so this card is probably not going to be really be on a lot of teams, so he's whatever. So I would probably say you only going to get him if you want, if you're, like, if you're a huge Shazier fan. Now, the next card we're going to be looking at is going to be John Runyon. Now, this dude has 98 strength, 98 pass block, 97 road block. Now, what does this dude look? Does he look really good? He looks okay. Okay, but there's a lot of better right tackles that you could probably get. And I'm not thinking you guys are trying to spend a million coins on a right tackle. You would only run this dude if you guys need yourself, if you guys have a steep team. But other than that, I don't think you guys really want him because he doesn't look anything crazy. Now. Let's look at the cards' ability slots that they're going to be getting for zero. So let's check out a zero ability bucket slots for Cam Chancellor. He's going to get Enforcer. Pretty good. Pick Artist. For zero. Pretty good. Deep in zone KO. Deep uh, out. For zero. And a Crusher. I think, the my opinion, the best combination it would probably be if you could get him with Crusher. That's, I think, all you need on this user. Crusher for zero would be huge for Cam Chancellor. So he's going to be pretty good. Jeremy Shockery. The best thing on this dude that he's going to get for zero is going to be short and elite. So I don't know how the ability slots are going to work, what tier they're going to be in. But so far, short and for zero, for zero is probably still the best thing. He, it's still the best ability. It literally torches man coverage no matter what. So the, actually, if you're running short and elite and you're torching man coverage, it doesn't matter how fast you are. They will still destroy. Next, we got Ryan's Chase here. Lurker for zero or Acrobat for zero. Acrobat for zero. That's probably huge. Now, never mind. I think Chaser maybe actually worked it for Acrobat for zero. Pretty interesting. Now we got John Runyon. Now his ability slots he gets are Post Up, Edge Protector, Secure Protector for one, and Nasty Street. Wait. Why does he show a zero ability bucket, but they show an ability that's not for zero? I think he fucked up. That doesn't make any sense. How I didn't realize that until I saw it right now. But those are the cards. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you guys think of these cards. I think these cards are nothing spectacular and nothing crazy. So let me know if you guys are going to be getting this card. And I still understand that John Ryan. If you're going to do that card, I'll probably say Edge Protector for Zero is probably the best. Even though Secure Protector is one of the best pass rushing abilities, let's be honest. You want a Zero Ability Bucket instead of Ability. So those are the cards. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe. And let me know who you're going to pick up any of these cards. Peace.